right. Metroid Prime Hunters. Now, I really like this game. Like Metroid Prime 3, I thought they got the first-person shooter controls down, you know. Uh, I never did beat it, though. I'm not sure why. Um, it's definitely not as good as the Metroid Prime games, because you got to go to multiple planets, and it doesn't feel like a big of a Metroid game overall. Well, granted, it isn't a handheld system, but yeah. Definitely not one of my favourites, but it is something that's recommended. And the multiplayer was actually fun. I played that for quite a bit, so yeah. Right. Lunar Nights. Now, I remember picking this up on an absolute whim, and I have not really gotten around to beating it yet. I've had this for a couple of years, actually, so... I've no excuse, to be honest. I really should get round to it. It's actually made, it's actually a, made by a Hideo Kojima, I think. Well, it's by a Kojima Productions, as that logo will tell you. So, yeah. Need to get round to it. I really do. And lastly, we've got Resident Evil Deadly Silence, or Resident Evil DS. This is the only version of the original Resident Evil I have. I've got the remake on the GameCube, but the original version I'm talking about. And yeah, it was the only one I actually beat. Game's so bad, it's good. But yeah, it's good. So... Right. Now we're getting on to PSP games. Okay. I like the PSP. Not a lot. A lot of people like to rag on it for lack of games, but that's bullshit. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, but to be honest, I do have quite a few negative things to say about my little library here. So yeah, we'll get into that. Right. One of the best games on the PSP by far. Prinny Can I Really Be a Hero. They're making a sequel and I can't wait for it. Now I've never gotten into the, the Skia series. Um, I maybe give them a try at one point, but for now I'm like, eh. But this is actually a 2D platformer spin-off based off the uh, character Prinny, who you see in a lot of the games. Well, there's hundreds of Prinnies. And it is a hilarious game and a good 2D platformer. The controls are a bit, eh, but it's a forgivable kind of, eh, you know. Uh, and it's a really, really hard, alright? I got up to this boss, oh, hardest boss I ever played, seriously. Uh, I think I talked about it one time in a Q&A. But then I got to a point in the game where I asked you to do all the bosses again. But they're harder. And you got to do them one after the other. And I was like, no, fuck you. You're a great game, but no, I'm not doing that. So yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, here's a really meh game. Sonic Rivals. Don't like it. This would actually be a pretty good Sonic game. But the fact that you're always constantly racing a rival just kind of loses it, loses its appeal. I guess it would be a pretty meh sort of 2.5D platformer without the rivals, but yeah, still not that great, I'm sorry. Probably the best Sonic game to come out in 2006, but keep in mind 2006 had Sonic 06, Sonic Riders and Sonic Advance, Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis for the Game Boy Advance, so yeah, that's not saying much, is it? Guitar Man Lives, a re-release of the uh, PS2 classic that I love so much. So yeah, Guitar Man on the go. I had to have it. <laughs> right. This one I'm kind of scared to talk about, because I did sort of promise I would let's play it, but now I can't be arsed. Daxter for the PSP. Definitely one of the better PSP games ever made. Um, yeah. I don't want to let's play it. Go away. Uh, yeah, I just thought this was just really a really great spin-off. It really was. Uh... Too bad Red 8 Dawn didn't stay around to make The Lost Frontier, actually, you know, because High Impact Games made that and apparently didn't do a too good job. I do still kind of want to try The Lost Frontier, but I will never, ever let's play it. Leave me alone about that, so yeah. Right. Uh, speaking of Red 8 Dawn, another one of my big favourites, God of War Chains of Olympus. I currently have God of War Cha uh, Ghost of Sparta, Sparta pre-ordered, and I will... And I can't wait for that. But yeah, the PSP God of War games, they're really damn good. They really are. Uh, yeah, friggin' great. It was the first God of War game I played and it got me hooked to the series, so I feel really obliged to pick up the uh, Ghost of Sparta. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Uh, this is actually like a done copy. Like, a, it's a promo. You know, I think this is the copy that a lot of reviewers got sent because... The friggin' cover, it looks like it's been printed off, so yeah, I thought I got screwed there. I may have to buy another copy for collector's purposes. But yeah, I went years without liking this game, actually. I never actually beat it. But then I beat it, and then I was like, okay, this game's not that bad. Then I picked up Secret Agent Clank, which was by the same uh, makers, you know. 
And I gotta say, I think this is a lot better. I really do. Uh, great fan service, actually, I gotta say. And there's a lot of variety. Everything you do was pretty much fun. And yeah, I've not really any complaints about this. Uh, there was points where I was like, nah, this isn't good either. But eventually I did beat it, and I did enjoy it. So yeah. Okay, Final Fantasy Dissidia. Uh, not played it that much. I got this brand new for £6.50, so I figured why the heck not. From what I know, it is a really good, fun fighting game, but there's a lot of fan service to Final Fantasy, of course, and I'm not that big on Final Fantasy to begin with. But, you know, like I said, I thought it was worth picking up, because it is one of the highest rated games on the PSP, so, yeah. Cool. It's good to have. Right. Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. I've given this game multiple chances. I cannot get into it. I hate managing my crew, playing as people other than Snake, having to watch my stamina all the time. It's just boring to me, okay? And I really wanted to beat this because I wanted to pick up Peace Walker, but I may just say fuck it and get Peace Walker anyway. Because I'm like that, as most of you know. I like to beat the first game before going on to the next, so... I'll probably pick up Peace Walker at some point. Hopefully they've made a few improvements over this. And yeah, we'll see though. Right. Star Ocean Second Evolution. This is just a re-release of the uh, PS1 game. I've not got around to playing it at all yet, because as you guys know, I like to play one RPG at a time, so this has been in the back of my uh, to playlist for quite a while. I was kind of planning on playing it when I went back to uni, you know, sitting to play on the bus. Oh, I was thinking, where's my UMD there, but I've got it in a little separate case somewhere, so yeah. Whew. Okay then. Popo Lacroix. I've let's played this. As you all know, this game just holds a special place in my heart. It really does, you know, because I've watched the anime, I've looked up all these different things that you could only get in Japan. Oh, I hate that so much, but yeah, I've said enough about this game. You guys all know I love this to death. Probably, this is, yeah, is my favourite. Okay, so yeah. Uh, Tekken Dark Resurrection. Never been that big on Tekken. This is actually probably the game I've the Tekken game I've played the most, and it's really damn good. I believe this was one of the highest rated games on the PSP as well. And yeah, I got quite addicted to it. The character roster is huge, like. <laughs> it's quite out of control. I never did get any Tekken 6 in the PS3. I'm really, I'm bad for that, as you all know. So yeah. But I, Tekken Dark Resurrection, it's awesome. Right. Silent Hill Origins. I actually beat this not long ago. And after beating that, I can say, I did enjoy it, I suppose, but there was more than one time where I was saying to myself, no, I don't want to play this, right? The Ratchet and Clank games are a lot better than this. Okay, for starters, the combat is the worst it's ever been, okay? It's seriously horrible, you know, next to the weapon degradation and the quick time events and just the fact that you can't attack anything without getting hit back. It's just absolutely terrible, I'm sorry. And of course, it's not as in-depth or as symbolic as the other Silent Hills, because it's made by different people. But as it stands, it's a decent enough survival horror game on its own, and a nice wee addition to the Silent Hill series, but like I said, there are a lot of problems to it. But, I, I did beat it, and I guess I was okay. I guess it was okay to sit through, so yeah. Alright. Fantasy Star Portable, not even opened yet. And I've got the sequel pre-ordered as well, because as you know, I've been foaming at the mouth trying to get every Fantasy Star game under the sun right now. But I, I kind of want to play Fantasy Star Universe on the uh, 360 first, because that's apparently the first game in the sort of series. But I don't know, I'm thinking about just saying fuck it and popping this in regardless. So we'll see. Uh, I am looking forward to it though. Um, I've heard it's not as good as uh, Fantasy Star Zero on the DS, because I've been looking up reviews and that. But like I said, something I want to get anyway, so yeah. And my last PSP game, Loco Roco. Uh, this is a good game, I'm not going to deny it. I did beat this one, but it's a very good portable game. This sort of like tailors back to what I was saying at the beginning of the video, actually. Uh, it's like, I don't really feel that much of a link to portable gaming, because I'd rather play them on a TV screen. Well, this is the perfect game to play on the go, because it is very simple and, you know, but at the same time has a lot of depth and really pretty to look at. So yeah, it's not a game you would play on your... TV essentially, you know, it's a game you would play on the go, and as a result, I don't have that much respect for it. But like I said, it was good. I'm not going to deny it. So, right, that's that, guys. That's all the collection updates finished. So I'll go back to something different now. So yeah, see you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.